Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, then now you know and you guys today I'm going to be going over my SLG collection with you guys. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello, I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kinsey. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot, but if any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like, and be sure to ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, without any further ado, let's get on into the video. I feel like I blend into my background, to my wall. I do apologize. I didn't realize this sweater was the same color as my wall. So over the past couple of years, I have accumulated a few SLGs or small leather goods as that's what they stand for. So I wanted to go over those with you guys today. Now I don't have that many to share with you guys. I only have like four of them right here, but these four I do really, really love with my entire heart and I use them uh, nearly every single day. Actually three of them I use every single day and then the other one I use probably every other day, every couple of days. Um, so I get a lot of use out of every single one of these. I'll be going over when I got each product, I'll be going over the price point of each product and I'll be showing like mod shots and everything throughout so it'll be a very fun time starting off with the first piece technically it's not the first piece that i've ever gotten actually the very first slg that i got was this gucci wallet that i got back in 2021 and i was i got it in italy i loved this gucci wallet so much it wasn't a card holder it was an actual wallet but it was so so nice and i remember going to the gucci store we were in venice when i got this it was like on a display case like a rotating display case um that it had like a bunch of other wallets and other small leather goods on it and I just saw it right there and I picked it up and I took it to the girl and she said oh man this is like the last one that we have in the store we've had a hard time keeping this particular uh, style in stock so I got it at just the right time but I have since sold this wallet not because it wasn't good it was a fantastic wallet I loved it a lot it helped me buy my current card holder if you uh, have watched this channel for literally any length of time, you will know that this is my Chanel card holder. It is this gorgeous, beautiful kind of peachy, orangey kind of color. And I got this, I wanna say, it was like March of 2022 when I got this. So at the beginning of the year last year, and I really wanted something that was like a more fun, kind of bright color because spring was coming up. And I just thought this, Oh man, I'm looking at the hardware and I have really fucked up this hardware. <laughs> now I really wanted a nice cute little card holder um, and at the time I was just literally obsessed with Chanel. I mean, I still, of course, I like Chanel, you know, as much as the next person now, but when I got this, I had just got my black Chanel classic flap and I was using it literally every single day and I was still thoroughly obsessed with Chanel during this time. And I don't think that I would sell this. I really do like this card holder. It's the only Chanel card holder that I have. And it does hold a special place in my heart, but I do still wish I would have kept the Gucci wallet. I got this from Fashion File. And again, I wanna say this was like $700. And I'm not entirely sure how much it is retail from Chanel. Like it's probably a little less expensive from Chanel. I probably should not have got this at the time that I did, but I have it now and I have not swapped out of this since. I don't have any other wallets. This is the only wallet that I have. I've been thinking of maybe adding a Saint Laurent card holder to my collection at some point, or I might even add back the Gucci wallet because I really, really liked that wallet. But maybe I would get it in like black or another color or something but this is my chanel card holder it has one slot in the front right here as you can see and then it has two spots on the back one here and then one back here and then it has an open spot in the center so you can like keep cash and stuff next up let's go with this right here. I actually recently unboxed a couple of these small leather goods because up until recently, I only had two small leather goods. I had my card holder and then one more thing down there that I'll show you last. It's the thing that I use the least technically. I recently added two more SLGs to my collection. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have it linked in the description for you because we did a double unboxing. It was very fun. This is my next one that I have here and this is from Longchamp and it is a coin purse. It's the cutest little coin purse. I did get this in the color black, as you can see. And the outside right here is kind of like this canvas nylon-y 
type material and then the little long shop wings and the bit right here is grained leather and then when you open it up it's got a zip closure and then i love the long shop little logo look at that it's so cool is it like a greyhound is it a, oh it's a horse <laughs> it's like a horse and like a person riding the horse for some reason i thought it was a greyhound <laughs> I mean, hey, it's cool too, but here it says 1948. So when you unzip it, I've got all my coins in there. And I've been really trying to use coins more often because me and my husband, we don't use cash all the time, but we do use cash from time to time. And then the coins end up being thrown into my cigarette uh, ashtray part of my car because I don't smoke. And then it just makes my car dirty. So I have got this and this i believe retails for like 60 65 dollars and i got this directly from the long shop website but believe it or not i actually got this for free because i used my points from my city double cash card not sponsored but i used my points that i like my cash back rewards and i had accumulated enough points on my card and then when i went to go pay they said hey if you use your city double cash you can use these points and i did I redeemed them, so I actually didn't pay anything for this. I got it for free. I'll link again in the description the unboxing so you can see like the box that it came in or like the bag that it came in. It was all very nice. And yeah, this is my little coin purse. I love her to pieces. They have a bunch of different colors. They have like a white one. I almost got the white one, but then I was like, maybe not because it's gonna get dirty really quick. But they have a white one, they have this color, I wanna say, oh, they have a red, which is really nice. I wanna say maybe they have a blue and a green, possibly, but I do love the black one, very cute. Next up, this probably is one, this is my favorite SLG. Oh, I don't know, is it more favorite? Do I like it more than the Chanel card holder? Honestly, I don't know. I think they're definitely a toss up, but this is my Louis Vuitton mini pochette accessoire. And oh my God, I love this thing so much. Are you joking? So I have her in the beautiful, stunning, gorgeous Damier Abin print. And I did get this from Rebag. I did not pay full price for this. Absolutely not from the Louis Vuitton website. Can you believe that with taxes and everything on the Louis Vuitton website, this thing is like $850. It is not worth almost $1,000, <laughs> absolutely not. But I did get it on Rebag and I got it for around the same price that the first price increase was, so around like 500-ish. And I do think it's still worth it in that like 500-ish mark because it's still very, very versatile and it's kind of like me buying another Jack and Moose bag because the Jack and Moose bag was around five, six hundred dollars, and they're both mini bags. This actually fits way more than the Jack and Moose bag does. Yeah, I love this little small leather good. This is still considered a small leather good. The Jack and Moose bag is considered a handbag, but a lot of people do tend to use this as like a little shoulder bag, like it, it fits. And I'm wearing like a thick ass sweater, but it still fits over your shoulder. And then you can put a little crossbody strap on this. You've probably seen it online, people DIYing this bag. And you can also make it into a wristlet. It's just so versatile, I love this. But mainly I've been using this as a catch-all in my Marc Jacobs The Tote Bag. I will quickly show you what's inside. I have my Summer Fridays lip balm. I have my Road peptide lip treatment. I have it in the unscented and I also have a salted caramel one. And then I have some tampies. I have hand sanitizer, scrunchie, my headache medication, and a little cloth for like my sunglasses or your phone. But I did do again a full unboxing of this and what fits inside if you do want to see that. Again, I'll have it linked below. Yeah, I love this little slg it is again probably my favorite one that i have and this one's also made in pelly and she's made in france y'all well she's not made in pelly well i guess she is yeah paris france duh kinsey i'm almost 30. 
She is probably my favorite SLG that I have. It's just beautiful. I'm obsessed with her. And I got her for a really good price as well because I did not pay full retail price for this and don't pay full retail price for this. Like, if you can get this at a discount, please do because it is not worth almost $1,000. Anyways, so there's this one. I love her to bits. And then my last SLG that I have to show in this video, I'm not even sure if it's considered an SLG to be completely honest. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this video just because it is something that goes into your bag. Like you can put it in your bag. It may, depending on what you do, you may not want to put it in your bag, but I use it every single day. So I'm gonna put it in this video and it is my Louis Vuitton Medium Agenda cover. And I absolutely adore this thing. I use this planner literally almost every single day. I use it for a lot of different things. I use it for journaling. I use it for, of course, doing like my monthly planning. Since I've quit my job also and became like a full-time content creator and I also help my husband as well, like, like his video editor, his like secretary assistant, if you will. So I do all of that and also film these videos. And so since starting that full-time, I definitely use this a shit ton more than I did before. I still used this a lot before, but now that I do this, I use it like literally almost every single day and it's fantastic. I love this thing. It is so worth it in my opinion. I think it is just amazing. And honestly, you don't need this if you're just gonna be using it for like a journal or something because it is very expensive and um, I don't think that it's something that you absolutely need, but if you are somebody that likes to do planning, agending, journaling, I would recommend recommend it. It just helps keep me really organized and like if I have appointments coming up, actually I need to write down an appointment right now. I have a appointment for an eye exam next Tuesday. Let me actually write that down because before I forget. What's next Tuesday? What's today? Today's the 10th. See, like I said, she's great. She helps me a lot. Anyways, that's pretty much it for my SLG collection. Like I said, there's not too many things. I know a lot of people have a ton of small leather goods because they are relatively inexpensive to buy compared to, uh, you know, actual handbags and stuff like that. I mean, they're still exorbitantly expensive for what they are, like a little piece of leather or canvas or whatever. So I do understand that they're still very expensive, but typically people tend to have a few more SLGs SLGs than like actual bags, but I don't have that many SLGs. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoyed this video of my four SLGs that I showed today, but let me know in the comments what SLGs you have and let me know if there's any on your wish list that you're wanting to get. And of course, they don't have to be luxury SLGs. They can be anything. And just leave me a comment down below telling me anything because I'm nosy and I want to know that. But you guys, thank you again so much for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and then subscribe if you want to and be sure to ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!